Hey everybody. Oh no, that's um, no, where's the energy? <laughs> the energy and the motivation. <laughs> I was gonna say like, hey everybody, welcome to ESC Whoop. It is technically ESC. Every time we're together it's ESC Yeah, that's it? true. Hey everybody, welcome to ESC Whoop. Um, we whooped it up very much. We did whoop it up very much. Last night. If you're if you've not been here before, my name is Shane. My name is Georgie. Yes. Georgie has his own independent YouTube channel, which I will put below. I didn't do that yesterday. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, important. Anyway, this video is to talk about all things Melody Festival Island. So we managed to go to Melody Festival Island last year, second year in a row. Yeah. Amazing? Amazing. <laughs> the feeling is amazing. The whole thing is amazing. It really, really is. Um, Sweden is amazing. Sweden is amazing. We made a mistake yesterday by going there by the tube, not the overground train. So we had yeah, to because walk. we had to walk, but we walked and we enjoyed it. We did, but also there was a few families that probably would have been scared of us because we just followed them. Because yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to get to the stadium, so I just follow the families and try to look normal. <laughs> um, yeah, just the whole thing. It's like more than just a show, isn't it? And they give out free carrots to the kids. I didn't get any. <laughs> they didn't get only to the kids. They get to it. This is such an amazing thing. You go to an arena, so many thousands of people and stuff, and they still manage to stand somewhere and to give carrots. I know. This is so healthy. I know. And I... you got the worst chips in history instead of carrots. What? Those chips that you had, those plastic ones. Oh, those ones. bacon snacks. Yeah, this anyway, is like so unhealthy. I did not find the stand giving away free beer, which is uh, a shame. Free beer they don't <laughs> give anywhere. <laughs> but honestly, the stadium was packed. It's packed. a huge, huge, huge stadium. And this time I enjoyed more the because we went earlier. We got the time to walk around. We got the time mm. to see everything last year we did and we were just running to go inside and we went there up where we were sitting and this time we sat we had a very good place it's a very good place yeah. very nice place on the right side i am proud because we had better places than many other youtubers that i saw where they were sitting <laughs> i mean they were proud of their places but our place was better yeah, there's a, a bless that person there was a youtuber that went to twitter and posted a video being like Girl, <laughs> girl, those places are. I oh, seat my seats. Bless, like if he if it's if they Tom. watch this, they Let's... ESC Tom. If they watch this, like it's not shade. But I saw it. I was like, I wouldn't be posting that. You look miles like, away. When I saw the video on Twitter, I was thinking like, oh Tom, oh honey, <laughs> that's not a good place. You don't see anything. No, exactly. Um, we but, have to be a bit shady. But again, it was quite sweet. We were surrounded by families, so it was lovely to see the kids, kids. in the sense of just seeing which acts they liked and tapping on their... And they were tapping. On their phones to support their favourite acts. Yeah. Right, let's talk about last night. So I'm going to go in reverse order and just tell me anything if you want to say anything. Okay. So in last place, Dotter. I could spend <laughs> one hour, <laughs> one hour of talking about this, but I'm just going to say... Pity and sad. Okay, so... Uh, but when the performance finished, what did we say also? No, I didn't say it with you, actually. That I... I Because I watched the other performance from The Heat and I know how she performs in general. She didn't give her 100% last time on that performance. She didn't do the high note at the end. I don't know if you have seen The Heat's performance. There's a high note that she has to do. I realized it after that. Okay. She she didn't do it, but not because she couldn't or something. It just it just was not there anymore. Huh. And but it was a very fine performance. I mean, I was happy with the performance, but I never expected that she'll finish even before the country band. Right. So I mean, I kind of had a sneaky suspicion only because I wasn't conscious of the fact that she followed Marcus and Martinus. Oh. Pretty sure she did. She either followed them or Medina, whoever it was. I'm pretty sure she came after Marcus and Masters. The reason why I say this is because the stadium just went mental after... She came after, um, here, after Marcus and Martinez. That's what she I just sang. said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was... Um, but I asked you there and you said, like, I don't think so. No, that that's, be... not, that's not true. You've created a whole I reality asked you. I was sitting true. next to you and asked you, like, isn't this a bit awful that she performs after them? And you were like, 
Like this. Oh, sorry. You you said it's going to go bad for her. I think you said that before the song. Yeah. Because after the song, I should have said, oh, I agree. Because oh. there was this whole energy in the stadium. Um, and she came on and I was like, this energy's not gone. And what was even worse was after they performed, they then had to walk to the centre bit where they're all sitting. Yeah. So she's singing this very slow, lovely song as these two boys are making their way through the crowd. The crowd and are cheering they're as they're making the way. And I was like, it, it was a disconnect yeah. between what she was trying to do and what the stadium were doing. They weren't really connecting with their performance. I don't know if that came across on stage. But it didn't. No. Um, bless her, but there was a lot of angry people in the Melfest part after that yeah. <laughs> just as the daughter many many uh, European uh, people they love Toto Georgie she, she got last in the televote no, eight, no, points. eight points where are the bulletproof fans like really in the Melfest weekend party because they played that last night and they fully enjoyed it right number 11 this was my prediction of last place Lisa oh, Ajax awful, awful liar. liar but she was good yeah, we no... really like wasn't this this is the song where everybody put their phones up right no that's no. a lie uh, uh, wait the awful lie is the pregnant girl Lisa Axe is the pregnant girl the yeah. pregnant girl she was also really good I don't know why but I really enjoyed this song this is when last you... night is the first time that I heard the whole three minutes of the song right. I just have heard snippets and last night I was like I really like this song actually this is when George you, you realise Georgie doesn't actually know as much about Melody Festival as he would like to think because before she performed they put pictures of her previous times at Melody Festival and he just looked at me and said I didn't know she's competed that many times that's yeah, like I didn't time. know I just know one time of one poppy song that she had okay. I don't know which year she's got a song with the word F yeah which I'm not a big fan of and she had 26 points no how many 26. I think she's got a decent fan following. And mothers will sympathise with her. Um, Jay Smith, mothers. back to my roots. I, even in the stadium last night, that was my least favourite. Yeah, that was didn't do anything to me. Still, decent televote with 26. Um, okay, um, number nine. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, Call the so police. Effortless. Call the police. Effortless. Nah, like yeah. I that I was the most vocal. I so mean, the the the, the jury voted uh, voting started very bad, but at the end, at the the thing up. looked that she was fourth. Out of like, and when she was fourth, I was thinking like, okay, if she's in the top three tele voting, she will end up in the top mm. four. It was like, like I can't remember how many juries. There was at least two juries that gave it nothing. So if if there's twelve acts and you're giving points to ten acts, you're telling me she didn't she wasn't in your top ten. That she was 11th or 12th. I want to praise Germany for that. Germany is the only country that gave them <laughs> gave her 10 points from the jury. So Germany, you have taste, honey. Mm, well, anyway, I was very, very vocal before Germany. Serbia and, after and that Croatia song. don't. They give her nothing. Um, but there, there was a couple behind us that I think were getting slightly annoyed about my screaming effortlessly. No, um, everybody liked it. She yeah. was awesome. Yeah, she was awesome. And um, she looked very beautiful. Yeah, I, I need to re-watch that in regards to how that was transmitted at home because I'd heard that she was very ill this week. Um, okay, number... I, I do genuinely think... You know, there was a lot of hysteria about Andrew Chanson and the two uh, that went through. Whatever, who? Annika. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I watched it yesterday That's and the I was girl like, with the lights. yeah, I was like, no, that deserves its place in the final. Just, yeah. L last night watching it, the voice, I mean, everybody sounded good, but she mm. sounded very, very good live. Yeah. And I love the connection with the audience, how everybody put their phones up. We were told to put on our phones by the screen. <laughs> yeah, but still, if you wouldn't want to do it, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, no, true. Um, and also, I, d I don't know that who she is. And don't it? ruin this magic. You don't need to say we were told. We were told. <laughs> Turn on your phone. This is so you can. Um, anyway, I, 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 is that her first time at Melfest? I don't remember her. But ultimately, she got more televotes than Jacqueline. So... How much? Thirty-eight. No, twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five. Jacqueline only got twenty-one. Oh. 
She was, yeah, she had the third lowest televotes in Sweden. Um, right. Maria Sur. Maria Sur. The opening number. She seems really sweet. She seems sweet. She, I was uh, surprised how quickly she learned Swedish. Mm. Last year she was speaking English and this year on the small 30 seconds she was speaking Swedish. Mm. Amazing. Good for her. But um, opened, great opener, mm. but was lost until the end because it opened. Mm. But still, how many points did it get? Um, it got 35. 35 in the televote. Yeah. That's not bad. No. I mean, if you watch the all the previous ones, yeah. the above ones, she was... Yeah. Mid. I mean, it's a, a decent song. A decent yeah. song. But by the end of it, I, I had not forgotten it necessarily, but it didn't necessarily No, and through. the performance, the lightning, the lasers, everything, this is amazing. The lasers are very good amazing. live in yeah. the stadium because a few of them had lasers. Amazing. Um, oh, we go to Danny. Danny. Now I, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about because shocked. as soon as that finished, I said to Georgie, "I was like, um, this, this is could one win. of the contenders of winning." First of all, he's the only one that made very, 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 very visible uh, changes. Others did too, but he did visible outfit completely changed. The behind lights, I mean, he kept the doors, the portal and stuff huh. theme, but he changed lights of it and stuff. I mean, he changed a lot of stuff and it was visible and he made it for better. And he didn't, how much did he get? I mean, it got 40. I thought he was going to smash the televote because he's got too. a huge, he's got a huge following, hasn't he? How many? 40. 40. And what did he finish? Everyone in, in front of him. He finished fifth. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Sixth he finished. Yeah. And everyone in front of him had a higher televote. Yeah, that's... And everyone in front of him has got big fan bases. Um, I was very impressed. I was very impressed. I liked it. In fact, I, liked I was, yeah. I think because I hadn't seen it and everything was basically new, really. Yeah. Other than the stairs and the door thing. Um, I thought that was going to be a contender and it got it became very obvious quite quickly that it wasn't going to be. Yeah. Um, fifth, Liamu. There's lots of posters for him yesterday. Very many posters. Lots of little girls supporting Liamu. <laughs> He also had the small change, had a bit connection with the audience. He was the only one that, before he started singing, like, tried to gear the audience yeah, around him. Yeah, he did, like, yeah. I was like, it's, it's, like, it's strange you're doing that, because it's not necessarily the feel of the song that requires that energy from the crowd, but he was, like, getting the crowd going crazy before he started singing. And then, what? because I need to watch that back, because, you know, he had that flame in the hand. Yeah. It, it won't be transmitted at home how that, that happened, but he gave the, the light to a stage person... Did you see that? No. To get rid of it. No. Um, but he laughed. Yeah, he did. At the very I, end. Yeah, I need to see that ends. in regards to, was that deliberate or did he just laugh? <laughs> no, I think he did it to have the connection. Yeah. Anyway. But he finished fourth. What's wrong with you? Fifth. A uh, fifth. Yeah. Um, right, okay. Three. So, um, my second favourite of this season, Cassie. Cassie up, yeah. Give my heart and I was so unbelievably surprised how high she was in regards to after the jury. Very high. I was like, um, yeah, wait, go. She was. She had eighty-seven in total. So she had. She was second after the jury. Second she? after the jury. Huh. But this is like this is exactly this kind of pop songs that has so catchy uh, chorus that stays in your head all the time. Like this this kind of viral songs that could stay mm. in your head like. All year round. The song came on in the after party last night as well, and I lost it in the sense of in a good way. Um, if I was her, I would be very happy to finish for You never ever really talked about this song leading up to that. Like, obviously, I was very vocal, my love for it. So, no. watching it in the stadium last night, did you have any different impressions of it? Did it? I it... liked it way more than just hearing the audio. Like, mm -hmm. I liked it. I thought it was quite sweet because when they were after the juries and they were, were going back to the televote, because um, she was one of the co writers of Jacqueline's song. As she ran to get into the camera with Jacqueline when they went to Jacqueline. Oh, really? Yeah. I had no idea that she's one of the co-writers of uh, mm. Effortless. Yeah, my two Ethiopia just she just writes hits, right? Yeah. And then she, because she accepted the award. I don't know what that award was for Lorene's yeah, the, tattoo the, last yeah. year because she was one of the co-writers for that. Can she write me a song? 
Yeah, but you, can she write a write us a song for our ESC whoop uh, intro that we sing? Yeah, but sh- we just can't sing it because we can't sing. No, we can sing. <laughs> Last night we sang very well, effortless at some point. Oh, that's true. That was we were going. We were in the stadium and like out of nowhere, we were actually singing <laughs> again. Like after us, so I was like, that was really good. Yeah. And we tried to recreate it straight yeah. afterwards with the recording, and it was awful. Yeah. We'll never be able to relive that magic. Um, okay. Take your cup away, I can't see. Sorry. Um, okay, cool. I'm very, very happy for her because that is a very good place for her as an individual act at Melody Festival. We go to the next Smash Horries. Yeah. So I was quite surprised how low they were after the juries. The juries kind of... They got them 59 over, really. televoting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And 31 jury. Yeah. Juries really didn't like them no but i was not surprised to see them finishing third place to be honest i thought they could potentially be- win yeah because the song is very good the performance is good mm-hmm. and it's the only rock song mm-hmm. of the lineup so it was standing out no matter where it would they would sing they had so, lasers right yeah they had red lasers um yeah third place so that where did they come last year so that is an upgrade isn't it last year they were also i think third Oh, Marcus and Martinez were second, and Smash Into Pieces were third. Oh, consistent. Consistent. <laughs> Maybe next year they will be second, and next next year first. Right. The one surprise of this whole year is Medina. Why surprise? So, because, like, oh. leading into this weekend, like, I thought it was fine, but I didn't understand the traction it's had in Sweden, because when this, before, during, and after this song in the stadium, the stadium went mental, yeah. I would say it was as equally loud as Martinus and Marcus. Those two songs were the most that got the biggest applause. Huge applause. And we saw how at Medi- honestly, in my opinion, not, not my opinion, from what I saw, when Medina, as long as they were singing and when they ended it, people were standing already. Mm. Do you remember that there where the people were in the first rows there? Yeah, they were already standing while the song was running. I was thinking like. Oh my God, people really like them. Like, yeah. people really celebrate them and they got such a big applause. Mm. That's true. And also the, the kids... Have they been me. very near to Marcus and Martinez in the points? No, no, right? But they tried to create some drama at the end, but you knew that Show the drama me. was pointless. How much was total? 177, 104. I don't know what was going on at the end. There's a bit of confusion. I don't obviously speak Swedish, but I think they were trying trying to create some drama. But it's yeah. just like, well, they're only a couple of points behind. Of course, they're going to win. Well, the little boy next to me was Team Medina. Yeah, because <laughs> I was just like, oh, you like Medina? And he just this looked little at me. boy. Did, he didn't. He didn't clap much for anyone else. He was very much a Medina. He fan. was there for Medina, <laughs> and his sister was there for Cassie. Um, but yeah, I must stop speaking to children randomly. <laughs> I was like, oh, you like Medina? And he's just like, oh my God, look stop at speaking to me. I became red here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, anyway, I kind of, yeah. Oh, who, who didn't give them any points? Was it Malta? The, jo- the jury is very, very off. Cyprus. Cyprus, Cyprus, the last one, yeah. gave them no points. No points. But wait, there were juries <laughs> that gave them. 10 or 12, yeah. and juries that gave them one or two. And there I was, was thinking, like, what's happening there? Literally no consistency with the juries across the board, as in it was, everyone was doing completely their own thing. And I was so pissed that Cyprus didn't give any points to Effortless, any. They gave zero, I think, and... Whatever. That was awful. Whatever. Um, anyway. We so, go to the winner. So they came second in the televote with 61. And so let's go to the winner then. Marcus and Martinez. And, Marti- and Martinez.
The Norwegian guy, so why did you ask me yesterday that we have to research that if it's true that this is the first time ever in Melody Festival that Sweden will be represented by a band or person or whatever that is Not from literally nothing to do with Swedish roots or Sweden. Wow, you've massively overstated that statement. Right. All you needed to say is someone not from Sweden. But they don't even live here. That's by definition what I just but said. But is this true? Yes. Did you research this? So say, for example, a good example for us. Okay, Celine Dion in Switzerland is a perfect example. She's yeah. not from Switzerland. She represented Switzerland. It's so the same sort of deal. So anyone else that's represented Sweden either lives in Sweden. No. Is Swedish. Yeah, but they... But this is the first time. So actually, it's like, it's nice, actually. Why not? Well, Tom, is it Tom Hugo from Kaino? Yeah. Obviously, they said, oh, we're very proud Norwegians tonight. He said, oh, gosh, isn't it great that we live in a world whereby where... at Eurovision, doesn't matter where you're from, you can represent any nation. Yeah. And like, he that's ended true. it because we are united by music. Um, anyway, let's go back to Marcus and Martinus. I mean, it was obvious that this was going to win before the show and yeah. during the show. Like, everybody, before the show, when we were talking with Paco, Carlos, Manu and the others, yeah. everybody said, like, it's it's them. Yeah, biases aside, like, as that performance was on yesterday, I was, I think twice I looked at you, I was like, this is winning. Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> it's the, crowd, very... the crowd went mental. Yeah. And people texted me that it was one of the few that on TV... You could hear the crowd mm. screaming. Mm. This staging, we said, this staging, staging is unforgettable. Staging like, is unforgettable. This is the best staging that I have seen on Melody Festival from the last years. Huh. Amazing. And do you know what? Like they, how many times did they play that song at the after party? Like three times. Yeah, two, three times. Every time it came on, like I, every time I listen to it, I like it more. Yeah. And that's not to say that the first time I heard it was low um, I, I don't think it, I was as crazy as everyone else um, she is unforgettable but it, biases aside out of all the songs last night I know some people will disagree because people had their personal favourites whether you're can a rock can I tell fan. you that many people I saw since last night every time I went on Twitter mm. there was a post of people saying like why do people hate so much m and yeah. and after that there were so many replies and I saw some people that I follow actually on Twitter mm. because they post up and there was like, because it's very generic, because it's this, this, this. And I was thinking like, actually, why? It's like, that classic thing of being overcritical with Sweden. Yeah. It's like, it, it's almost people have a free pass to be overcritical with Sweden. At the end of the day, let biases aside, like I'm a Jacqueline boy, you're a daughter boy. There were smashing to pieces boys. There was Medina boys and And this girls. is what it matters. At the end of the day, put those biases aside. That was the best song for Eurovision. Yeah. And I completely yeah. accept that. And I had one or two passionate conversations with people yesterday that that spoke to me and said, you know, it's, you know, the worst song one or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know how you can say that really. Because the whole package, it yeah. felt like the right song. Oh, the other thing I would say, I think some of the reason why they get a lot of hate is I genuinely think that people were just a bit disappointed that it was just so predictable. In the well, sense of there was no yeah. real drama this year, kind of when all the songs got announced, it was pretty obvious who was going to oh, win. Oh, because last year was very pre not predictable <laughs> with Lorim. That was predictable. No, but like there was there was a few people at the after party that said, you know, had a great show, but it was boring because we knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, it's a bit unfair. <laughs> yeah. But like a bit like Croatia, I still thought even to the end, I, I still, even though it was obvious Baby Lizani was going to win, but I, there was a, still a part of me thinking he might not. Where I kind of just always assumed. You really thought that Vanko will win at the end? No, I didn't think that. But I just think that it was the, the writing was on the wall. I think this was always going to win. Oh. And it just came into fruition. And um, it was really sweet. <coughs> so they, um, they're winning performance. They yeah. hugged their mum. I don't know if you saw that. That was their mum? I think it was. She was mom. crying. It was just a random lady. She yeah. was crying. That was very sweet. <laughs> And like, yeah, they seem like two decent lads. They seem funny. I don't understand Swedish or Norwegian, but with their little mini videos, yeah. the way that they were saying things, I laughed and I didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> um, okay, should we do what we did last year then? Should we watch it? 
Yeah. I actually do genuinely want to watch it. Genuinely want to watch it. Um, so cool. let's watch it. Okay. Apparently I'm not allowed to edit it now. I've got to watch the three minutes because people kick off. Is this this is the final performance, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. This is very catchy, right? Every single beat is very catchy. Like I said, it's not a music that you have not heard before. Like I must be honest, it's mm. a music that I have heard before in songs, but it's very well put put through together. No for that song, that. for this song. It's a well-produced song. Yeah. And my first reaction, it's this beat in the chorus that I was into. Yeah. But now I'm into the whole thing. Okay. Here, this I love. Yeah. Yes. I love this. That's the hook in. Yeah. And, and I love how... Unforgettable. Ba, 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 ba. How loud is Malmo going to be in the final? Oh, yeah. This or Medina were the perfect songs to have the country that won Eurovision to sing a song. I mean, they're getting the 12 points on Norway. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> like, Judy and Taylor voting. Yeah. So Norway, Norwegians have got two acts to yeah. cheer on this year. <laughs> two different acts. Oh, so now she this thing opens. Yeah, we saw that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, we didn't because we were on the side, so we didn't see. No, I saw when they came more in front and this mm. thing opened. She's unforgettable. I love this. She's mm. unforgettable. But. This is the only part that I can sing, though, because when we left the stadium on the train, I just kept repeating that, and I was yeah. like, I don't know any other part of this song. <laughs> yeah, this is just the part that we know. But I would, I would love if they really keep it the way it is in Malmo. Mm. I had a heated debate with someone yesterday who said that they were predicting this was going to flop. I was like, in what world is this going to flop? It's unforgettable. Like, even if it would come 10th place, for me, it's not flopping. I would say it's... You know what I mean? Like, even if it at the end, Sweden, with this song, would come 10th place because this Eurovision is so good. Like, let's say it doesn't come in the top three. It comes mm. 10th place. That doesn't that doesn't mean flopped for me, no. you know? No, someone thinks it's generally going to be like... Why well, say someone? Like, it's some sort of musical guru. It was... Um, I can't remember who it was now. But I, I, I don't like that I, even if uh, after Eurovision, Sweden would come 10th place, for example, 9th, 11th. I'm just seeing an example of those places. And they would say, like, told you it flopped. 10th place? Do you know how many countries are wishing to be 10th? Mm. No. I think this is another example, a bit like the UFO, where potentially just being a bit safe this year might pay off. Yeah. Because there are so many countries that are doing so many different gambles that could obviously pay off they are unforgettable do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 do. let's right. end it let's end it bye thank you for watching awesome. write us on the comments what you think uh, if you have any hate comments you can really direct them to Shane and Peace to them. thank you for watching <laughs> it's a whoop 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 yes and see you very 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 soon. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Tschüss. <laughs>